here in Albany, lawmakers are back at it at the Capitol for the start of the 2016 legislative session. It's the first opening day with two new leaders welcoming lawmakers back. And although nothing earth shattering was accomplished, a few issues are already standing out today. Capitol reporter Kimberly Howard is live at the Capitol for us right now. And Kimberly, a lot of talk today about raising the minimum wage. But what's the plan so far? Well, and Governor Cuomo has already signaled support for a $15 an hour minimum wage. And the group 5 for 15, of course, is right behind him. But they will all be facing some pushback, and that will be from both sides of the aisle. And with that, the 2016 legislative session is underway. Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty wasting no time getting to one issue that's taking center stage, raising the minimum wage. We must realize that an unrealistically low minimum wage leads to very real problems of poverty, homelessness, and hunger. Supporters of the fight for 15 say this will be their year. I believe the overwhelming majority of New Yorkers want this done. And next week um, on the, at the State of the State, there'll be three to 4,000 low-wage workers here rallying for a raise in the minimum wage. Governor Cuomo has already approved minimum wage hikes for fast food workers and state employees, but boosting it to $15 an hour across the board could be a hard sell. The jobs that it kills are the jobs of the most unskilled workers of minority uh, youths who want to be employed, but because of a high minimum wage will not be employed. That's going to be crushing to upstate small businesses. It is going to decimate them. And it's not just Republicans who are skeptical. Sure, we want to see the minimum wage increase, but we need to make sure we do it without taking casualties along the way. We also heard talk about education, property taxes, combating the heroin epidemic. But the other major issue here, of course, is ethics. Both houses starting the session without their former leaders. They were both just convicted on federal corruption charges just weeks ago, coming up at 6. What both good government groups and lawmakers say needs to be done to stop a similar embarrassment, really, from happening. We're live at the Capitol. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. All right, Kimberly, thank you.